All right. Uh, Mr. Luther Vandross is the died, artist tonight. He died too early. He died too young. Yeah, That's absolutely. Right. Really. Of natural causes. Not like the guy we're going to talk about tonight. That's right. Robert Kennedy. Robert Kennedy. Yeah. Did not die of natural causes. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the distinct honor of introducing John Brady. That's right. To you. There it is on the screen. Psychologist, author. This man is a graduate from Cal. That's right. And Wendy Brickman. Went to school with her. You went to school same, with Wendy. Same time, different classes. Aha. <laughs> See that? And that's how we found you. That's right. Through Wendy. Anyway, John, thank you for being here tonight. No, th thank you for the invitation. And, I, and you know what? I've had so many guests on this show. So many guests. 78 shows. Look at this. Can you believe <laughs> that he brought... A box of C's candy to it's us? It's not C's. It's McKenzie's. Well, it looks like C's. But it's better than C's. <laughs> it looks like C's. It's a disguise. Yeah, right, right. As, as are many things oh, today. Yes, you're right. It fooled me. <laughs> and we're going to devour it here. Because I don't know whether you noticed when you walked in the door. Did you see the candy kisses up there yeah. by the front door? Pizza, candy kisses. Yeah, I mean, hey, thing, we, everything is we do it right in the green room here, I'll tell you. You do. Okay, John has a book. John, John brought this one here. Put that uh, camera three on there. John is the author of Psychological DNA, a cold case analysis of who killed Robert F. Kennedy. And we were just talking before we went back on camera. Luther was just finishing. That's right. About Robert F. Kennedy being killed at the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. June, June 5th, 1968. June 5, 1968. And you know the sad thing, and I just told John this. That hotel got, or at least the part where this all happened, got all torn down. They, they, they bulldozed it down. They did. Very sad. Why did they do that? Because they put up a Robert Kennedy memorial. Where the spot was it, that it, he, exactly. he was shot? On Wilshire Boulevard, yes. Okay, so now when you were a young man and you were at Cal... You did some analysis of that whole situation. Exactly. So when I was at Berkeley, my major professor was a chief psychiatrist on the Sirhan case. Sirhan Sirhan. Sirhan Sirhan. The man they say. That's right. They say that assassinated Robert Kennedy. Yes. So he was tried and convicted in 1969 of the murder but there's always been lingering questions concerning the motivation and really why he did it, why he engaged in this behavior. And persistently for 56 years, and, and by the way, the, the book's going to come out on the anniversary of the assassination, which is June 5th. So it's just year. around the corner. That's, that, 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 that's right. You're publishing it, it, this book. Right. The publisher is. The publisher is so, publishing so, so, with the appearance with Gary, this is the kickoff All right. to, to the book. So All right. that's why I really appreciate I'm so know, happy to do this here. for you, John. It's and terrific. we're going to load this too on YouTube. For Perfect. You. So, yeah. so what happened is that my advisor at Berkeley would, would fly to Los Angeles and give testimony, in defense testimony, along with 10 other doctors. Yeah. Now, the, the 10 doctors are like, Ten cooks that spoiled the stew. Huh. All right, yeah. so one wasn't on the same page with with the other one, and there was disagreement as to what the diagnosis was of Sirhan, leading to what his motivation was. Why he, did he go in there with a revolver the, and the, unload the entire revolver so, on so Robert for, F. Kennedy? For fifty six years, he has alleged that he has no memory no conscious remembrance of what happened during that murder scene. He was interviewed extensively by Bernie Diamond, my, my advisor, and put under hypnosis to try and retrieve that information to determine whether or not he was malingering, faking, lying, or distorting the, the, his remembering what happened 
or whether there was something else. In, in my analysis, after 56 years, and I kept looking at the case, and I thought there's something else happening here. And, and what I discovered is that when he did this, he was in an altered state of awareness. Altered state, state I've of, heard that. He was in an altered state of awareness, which is creating of a separate person, like the Three Faces of Eve. Mm -hmm. You, you yeah. probably read that book. It was somebody else. Sybil, Three Faces of Eve, the Beauchamp case, you know, famous cases of multiple personality. So what happened is, based on his background coming out of Palestine, the trauma that he experienced early in life, around age 10, he carved out this separate identity as, as a person trying to struggle with, with the reality around him. Mm -hmm. He saw his brother killed. He saw people maimed, body parts. He went to the well, a common well, to get water for his family. He pulled up the, the bucket and he found a hand oh, in the gee, bucket. Whiz. So he was traumatized yeah. at that point. At 10 years old. At ten, to, he came here at twelve. Okay. At age twelve. Okay, but he, this was all happening to him when he the, was ten, the, the, and and before. Did he get so multiple? So it's very si very similar to what's happening now in Gaza. The same kind yeah. of issue, the trauma. You can imagine what yes. the people are going oh, through with absolutely. PTSD, all those displaced persons. Sirhan was one of those people, but it was fifty years ago that that he created this this personality, and. He, he connected with, with Robert Kennedy, interestingly enough, as his savior. Uh-huh. Okay, as the person he idolized. So he transferred from Robert's brother, John Kennedy, he transferred all of his, his admiring characteristics to Robert Kennedy. But suddenly, and this is another diagnosis, suddenly he shifted his viewpoint concerning Robert Kennedy, because Robert Kennedy was supporting Israel, uh -huh. and he was going to send 50 jet bombers to bomb the Palestinians. I see. Suddenly he shifted his, his allegiance. The allegiance became hate, anger, vengeance, and retaliation. So, th this, so that happened to him when he got here to America? That's right. That's right. And he had, when did the multiple personalities show their face? About the same time, so th this is is a is a progressive situation, where he drifted into this disassociated state of awareness, kind of like a dream state. Yeah, yeah. But but it's a different person. So if you, if you look at the information in the book, I trace the the other cases where there's actually different personalities within one person. As I said, part of it was the the psychological testing. Was, was skewed in such a way that it confused everybody. It confused the jury. The jury said, this is only psychobabble. We want out. Ah. So one of the tests that was used is called the thematic apperception test, which goes along with the Rorschach that you know is the inkblot test. But the thematic apperception test has cards that you, you interpret I'm not going to diagnose you with this, but it's just, just it's one of the cards that Sirhan was given during his assessment by two psychologists. This card. That card. Okay. That that same card. You want and to tell me what you see? You, you want me to say <laughs> no, what I see? No, no, that's okay. okay. Uh, you, you we'll do a, it. We'll do it off camera. You, you could get a I could... you could get a second opinion. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So th this is just one of the tests that was used in order to, to diagnose him, and, and there was no unanimity as to what diagnosis they came up with. Okay, but there's no dispute about the fact that he actually had the revolver in his hand and fired off every shot in the revolver and killed Robert Kennedy. Yes, there is. There is. As a matter of fact, one of the reasons that, that I wanted to write the book after all these years was stimulated because of Robert Kennedy Jr. Robert Kennedy Jr. was influenced by one of the people that was was shot at the time of the assassination. Of Robert W. Uh, Robert, Robert Kennedy was shot, and five other people were shot at the same time. Oh, that day. That that instant. That, that instant. night at the ambassador. No one else died, though. No one else died, okay. but 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 there were, but there one were other stray bullets going around. That, that's right. 
this man was seriously injured, Paul Sherrod. And Kennedy got in touch with him, Robert Kennedy Jr. And Sherrod doesn't think that, that, that Sirhan fired the fatal shot. Oh. Okay, which is, which is consistent with what the, the coroner, Thomas Noguchi, said at the time. He said there were eight shots fired. Four of them hit Robert Kennedy. One missed him. Three hit him frontally. But the, the fatal shot came in the occipital area in the back of the head. So it wasn't. And who, and who was standing next to him? A security guard. Oh, my goodness. So Robert Kennedy Jr. visits Sirhan. He comes out with the. After three hours, he does, they have a, have a kind of a love fest. He doesn't think that, that Sirhan killed his father. My goodness. He, he thinks, as you said before, there's, there's no dispute concerning the firing of the eight shots. It was it, on television, too. It was, wasn't on, it? it was on television. That's right. But Robert Kennedy Jr. then drifts into this situation where he tries to track down the security guard. So did the security guard fire his weapon? They would have known. They didn't it, even check it. They, they did, never checked his they never, weapon? No, they never checked his weapon. He took it home. It was ballistics a, of, it the, was, of it the... Was, it was a thirty eight and, and Sirhan had a twenty two Ivor Johnson revolver with eight shots in it, okay? Robert Kennedy tracks down the security guard. This is after 50 years, security guards living in Southern California. He starts negotiating with him to get the story. Were you there? I'm not accusing you. Yeah. But, but you're a material witness to, to my what, father's what, death. What, that's right. What I think happened. Yeah. The security guard wants $25,000. For what? To tell a story. Oh. To Robert Kennedy. Robert Kennedy balks at it, says, I'm not interested in the 25000 The security guard... Thane Caesar, he leaves the country, he goes to the Philippines. This is recent, in the last three years. He leaves the country, he goes to the Philippines, and guess what? What? He's found dead. Uh-oh. So, so Robert Kennedy Jr. can't get the whole story. Oh, my goodness. What, what I want Robert Kennedy Jr. to do is to, sh- I want to share with him the altered state of awareness that I think Sirhan was in at the time. Okay, so he w- wasn't Sirhan Sirhan that's, mentally. He was somebody else. That's right. That's right. That's exactly now, right. Now, was exactly was someone very put perceptive. up <laughs> was someone put up to getting him in an altered state before he went to the ambassador? Very hotel? good question. So very good question. So the theory of the Manchurian candidate has always been in the back of this case. Okay. Was Sirhan hypno-analyzed? Was he put into the state where he became an automaton, where he became a, a, a conditioned assassin? Yes. Which comes out of the Manchurian Canada right. situation. So there's a whole controversy concerning that. And that's what your book is about? No. No. <laughs> What's your book about? It's about the psychiatric aspects of the case that I think were missed during the trial. Okay. Because there was so much confusion and the jury, as I said before, the jury walked away and said, this is, this is just psychobabble. Okay. He's guilty. We want out. So everything was discarded, plus the fact that throughout the trial and to this day, Sirhan says he doesn't remember anything. Well, that's obviously he doesn't because an altered personality yeah. committed the crime in his unaltered state. He yeah. doesn't remember yeah. anything. Yeah, I hear you. That's, uh, that's possible. Yeah, well. It's all it's, possible. So it, it, so it, what's going to be the final with this? I see you're writing a book about it. You're going to sell a lot of copies of this book. I hope so. No, with you the, are. Because, but no, well, <laughs> no, listen, you, you have a lot of good stuff in here, and it makes a lot of sense. And when people read it, they're going to make their own mind up as to what happens. That's right. That's, Am I right? That's exactly right. And um, but the, the the key psychological conditions, the, this one condition that I said, where he shifts his his mental affiliation yeah. and admiration, a better word, yeah. for Kennedy to one of hate, ties into four categories of of this particular 
erotomania, it's called, uh -huh. murder. murder. And then I contrast that with people like Mark David Chapman, who, who killed John Lennon. Yeah. Okay, so Mark David Chapman. Same kind of thing? Same kind of thing. Mark David Chapman was in an altered state of awareness when he killed Lennon. He loved Lennon. Yeah. He, 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 he emulated him. He had all of his records. He, he married a, a Japanese girl. He had a band. So the, the, the day before he killed him, Lennon signed his album. Oh, wow. wow. But Lennon, but, but, but Chapman was a devout, born-again Christian. When Lennon said that he was more, more important in the world than Jesus, uh, something was triggered uh, gotcha. in, in his mind, yep. and he decided that at some point I have to eliminate him because he's no longer a love object. He is an enemy uh, to, to well, Christianity. These so things, he killed him. These things happen in people's minds all the time, right? Right. That's my job. And your job <laughs> is to dig down and come up with the theory that you have come up with. Altered state. He was in an altered state. That's right. So, so was Lennon. And so was Lennon. You mean the Chapman? Chapman. Okay. So. Lennon case. Lennon case. <laughs> so anytime these crazy things happen in life where you have someone killed, like uh, assassinated, and they dig down with these people. Are these people that are doing these deeds in an altered state? That's, that's where I come in, it, it, if I'm able to analyze the person, analyze the case. So, so I lay out other cases that are similar to the Mark David Chapman case, yeah. where people uh, form this, this sudden aversion to the target and they need psychologically to eliminate that person. So, so they do. You know, um, you're going to have to rush right out June 6th. 6th. Six. This book is coming out June 6th. The title again, Psychological DNA, A Cold Case Analysis of Who Killed Robert F. Kennedy by John Brady. Go pick this thing up. Is it Now, I have to ask the question. Is it going to be available at Amazon? Sure. Oh, it'll be in all bookstores and Amazon. Okay. See, that's what so, everybody. Or, or my website. Automatically, people go. Oh, can I buy it on Amazon? Oh, sure, sure. Well, all my other books are on Amazon. Okay. So, well, I would suggest you pick up a copy. It's great reading. I kind of thumbed through it first time I saw it today because I had the other book that he's also written, given to me, Men of Steel. That's about corporate theft in Silicon Valley. <laughs> uh, is crime addictive? Three men who found out. I mean, John is a prolific author here. So, um, in fact, we're going to have lunch. That's we, how, are, we are going to have lunch. We're going to have lunch because that's how interesting this man is to me. And I am so happy that you made it to our show tonight. Oh, Gary, thank you, thank so, you so, so much. So much. Like I'm I said, honored that like we said, are. This is the kickoff. I'm okay. honored that you're using this little show as no, a kickoff. No, it's not a little show. Well, thank you it, so it, much. There's only little people. <laughs> this, is, this is a big show as thank, far as I'm concerned. Thank you, thank okay. you, thank you. Don't say those things. Might go to my head. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm here. <laughs> okay. John, thank you so much no, for being you. here. Monterey on tonight. Uh, let's get back to Luther Vandross. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you again. Wonderful. Thank you.